Okay, I just got a brand new unit in SDS 100, and I'm going to show you how you can take uh, audio out from it and pump it into a computer, into a program called Audacity. Uh, first of all, you need to have a computer that has a line in. Uh, this MacBook Air does not, but I've got a little USB sound card that I'm using. I think I paid about $7 for that on Amazon. I was told that you need a ground loop isolator. Uh, I just got that from Amazon. I got it plugged in. I haven't tried it without yet. Also, a lot of times when you go line out from a device, the volume's 100%. I have a line level um, input here, and there's no reason to use this because the volume uh, controls real well you can turn it all the way down or all the way up it's not full 100 percent blast like on a lot of line out devices so it's a real sleepy day here in newburn north carolina so what i did was i took the weather channel which has always got audio output on it and now what i'm going to do is record into audacity and as you can see there's some audio coming into this thing i'll go ahead and stop that and then play it back. Waves one foot. Across the river's light shop. Scat. Okay, so it's real easy to capture audio coming in. Another neat thing about Audacity is that under the transport uh, thing here, you can do a sound activated recording. Um, so, um, uh, if you've had got it on the police scanner, it will only record when there's audio present, which is pretty nice, neat. That'll keep your file from being, uh, you know, 30 minutes, 60, two hours long, whatever. It only records when there's audio, and that would make for a nice, concise uh, way to review your police scanner activity over a period of time. So, anyway, that's how you get audio out on, and capture it on an SDS 100 and we love the SDS 100 here even though it cost $700 see you